Hey everyone, this is Pixie Pew and welcome back to Backbone. Previously we got accosted by a skunk who had a sword and learnt way more than we were expecting. Small heart shaped leaves spinning down the pot, looking pretty sad, playable, neglected, hasn't been looked after in decades, reminds me of my childhood. Hello? Come flowers. The meaning of flowers. A guide to spiritual botany for beginners. I got white. Belly Pyrene is a common species of daisy. Of the family Asteracaceae. Often considered the archetypal. Nope. Archetypal. Yeah, well, you know, it's coming out the same. Species. Species of that name. <laughs> Reading. Woohoo. Big words. It exhibits the phenomenon of heliotropism, where the flowers flow, follow the position of the sun in the sky. The name daisy is considered a corruption of day's eye, because the whole head closes at night and opens in the morning. Daisy is also commonly known as Mary's rose. Hmm. A rose is a flowering plant to the genus Rosa in the family Roscaceae. Rose plant range in size from compact miniature roses to climbers that can reach seven meters of height. Rose prickles are typically sickle shaped hooks, which aid the rose in hanging on to the vegetation when growing over it. Hmm. Roses are also known as great fire flowers due to being heavily featured in the myth of creation. Heart leaf philodendron is a species of flowering plant in the family Acrocaeae. Parts of the plant contain calcium oxalate crystals in varying concentrations. The plant is known to have a narcotic effect on rodents. Huh, which one was that? Heart shaped. The heart leaf pladron is known as the sweetheart plant because of the unique heart shape of its leaves. Much cozier than the rest of the house. As if Rose ever went missing and is going to come back soon. Poor Florence. No, not yet. Monkey boys. Groovy. <coughs> hmm. Welcome, Rose. Enter your password. Clarissa? Uh oh. That exploded. Got my password. Question number one. Favorite flower. Keep singing the tune. Paisley, I think. Question number two. Favorite band. It was here, the Groovy Boys. I need to think. You wonder how Catery. Cuddle Boys. We're getting into something deep. When finally you can tell when the music comes. Hold on, let's double check. Let's double check everything. There's a white flower, right? Hmm? Rose is terminal, you know the password? Nope, I never wanted to snoop. I don't know how to use them things anyway. What if I saw something? Something like what? Like oh, something that made me realise I don't know her at all. You're scared, but there could have been vital leads on there. If she was gonna leave a note, she would have written one. Left it on the fridge or something. So you don't know the answers to the security questions? Security questions? I don't know, didn't see them. You know what her favourite flower was? Nah, she had a new favourite every week. Could never keep up with that girl's fancies. Okay, leave it with me. I believe... It's the white one. Whichever one we remember. The truth of how we are dying. 
I think we picked up all of the information. Let's do our thing. Okay, Ari. What is your name? Face, face, what? You miss her, huh? You? Or is it pretty? I'm sure you're pretty too. And your name is? Boing! Your name is Boing? Boing, 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 what? You make geezers look clever, pal. Ooh, what? Stupid bastard. Now I'm being shit talked by a bird. <laughs> Oh, cheeky. Maybe I'll ask Florence if I can adopt you. What? Well, talky talky. Oh, the talky. Who talky? Rose, Howard, Bird? In this, what? In this for the eyes. How's it working with you, Ignis? Must have been her pet. Welcome back, Rose. There we go. Here we go. Sometimes there is blood inside and outside of my body. I could wash it away, but today no water runs in the bathtub. It doesn't fill me, it doesn't touch my shoulders, my knees or my thighs. I sit there silently, waiting, breathing, letting the air in. She's made of liquor, tears, empty envelopes, nothing in between. I am others. Today is Thursday. I'm sick of being bold and the way my voice breaks when I say a thing without meaning it. I used to sing in my head but the theatre is now full and the audience comes and goes. For instance, I never see the same face twice. Forgetting makes it easier. Therefore, I remember the music but not the lyrics. Would you like to have some soup? Not really. I'd rather try the main course. The doctor says it's good for your imagination. Like that time when through slicing and grinding and chewing and speaking, the flesh speaks too, saying, I am, I am, I am. Leslie, I love you. I'm taken by this newfound multifaceted moving force commanding me in all directions. There was a gaping void inside my body, an expanded space within, left empty, waiting to let in bigger things. Nothing escaped and nothing gravitated around the hole. It just sat there, without desire, pronouncing the meaningless noise of existence. And then, out of nowhere, love returned. It encompassed the whole of my being. What was once me now demands a new definition, new borders, new coping mechanisms. I come up with new words, invent new ways to communicate with the widening world in front of the eyes that were once blind. Now I know. We spoke about our future and how it's impossible, but I found a way. Boss knows about us. She mentions a scavenger that helps people like you and me. There's life beyond the wall, and I want to live it with you. Let me know. I'm going to stay with you, whatever you decide. Work, I can't. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Buster Carpenter. Interior security thug. Official title is VIP public appearance liaison. Complete arsehole. Good whiskey, monkey butt. I was trying to touch the girls. Brags about who he's been bodyguard to. Many mid level politicians who have been doing things they shouldn't have been. Good source of tip offs. Keep happy. Frederick Mueller. Accountant, creepy accountant, talks very little, doesn't bother girls directly, but stares. No one likes him. Luckily, he's a lightweight, passes out after a few. It was mentioned that he manages funds for a few apes, science minister included, and hinted at knowing about the finances of the bite. Hoping you'll slip up and overshare at some point. Warren Wolf, blacklisted, waves money around like it's nothing. Science City family, but it hasn't been a great source of information. Probably doesn't know anything anyway. 
possessive prick. He got aggressive. Started raising his hand at both girls and a customer. Lost her amount. Said she had a way of dealing with him if he ever comes back. Good riddance. Guy Silvers. Police chief. Talk shit about interior security. Also complains about science minister having him by the balls. Runs his mouth. But not about much useful so far. Likes to be baby taught. Asked Gina to try track specifics about his relationship with science minister. Doug Rogers. Project artifact? What the fuck could that be? Science minister. Careful. Expect all the girls. Drinks only moderation. Secretive enters the back alley, only ever requests Leslie. Bosses are direct liaison, and will be allowed to speak to him. No one else ever. Seems to know the boss well. Leslie doesn't like talking about him. Leslie spilled. He mentioned Project Artifact once, and then shut down. Investigate. Bruce Furt, Traffic Minister. Reserved among people. Loud and arrogant with the girls has at least two lovers beside his wife, brags about his close working relationship with science minister, but obviously never sees him at the club, only drinks sweet stuff, no whiskey or beer, very clearly tries to avoid the specifics of his work, but Leslie may be able to get something out of him. Ian Metferrick, lawyer, has a thing for Gina, married children, does monkey butt like he's sipping on tea, harmless, or lawyer, so Gina's a good fit, owns his own firm, deals almost exclusively with apes and the high city officials, has visited with both Fur uh, and Stokes. Head of biochemistry, Eddie Young. Now about Science City. Family man, likes to get drunk and cry on a girl's shoulder. Seems terrified of Science Minister. Boss told us to keep him sweet. Seen Boss talking directly to him when she thought she was alone. He looks depressed. Mention Project Artifact to Baby Gina. That's twice now. Must be working with this minister. It's clearly something exciting going down at Science City. I need to tell Renee. John Stokes, treasurer. Insufferably smug. Food and drink is never good enough, but he keeps ordering the same thing. Everyone hates him, but he throws tips around left and right. Definitely spends money other than his own. Came in with Mueller a few times. Answered private rooms. Tried listening in. Didn't catch much. Therese conversation. press escape but maybe they don't mean escape how can I get out how can I get out when you push the escape key hold on let me use my controller just in case no 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 have I not seen everything it wants me to see I don't have a mouse on this screen I have a mouse on this screen Surely he's seen what he needed to see, no? Looks like it wasn't all ticked off. Okay, weird. Oh, did we not read all of it? No, we didn't read all of it. Silly me. Dream Team. Rose Clemenko. It me, angry lady with a big butt. Baby Gina. Patient with the men. Maybe too patient. High drug cells. Not sure how that happens. Sensitive, don't to give a rowdy men. Not a factory girl moved to West End recently. Iron Nate, sweet girl, but not the brightest. Young look, petite, fills gap in all this. Leslie Pam. Factory girl, close to my louder, lives with her mother and a little brother, roots in the area. Hiring notes, smart girl, should fit in quickly if hired with my as friend. Beautiful. When she enters the room, it feels like a summer's day. Rumor she swings the other way. My Lada, factory girl, Leslie's best friend, very reserved. Hiring notes, many coaching on how to handle clients, so he's just done it all, right? Her brother's possessive, so the bouncer to watch out for him. Preparation, stage one. Rosetta system? It wasn't all, Clarissa. I feel sick again. Team, hire attractive local girls that know how to make men talk. Start with factory clique, wider West End area. Offer good pay, no sex work, just listening, flirting, reporting to me. Intel, boss has access to monkey butt supply, helps loosen tongues, mix 50-50 with hype to make adjective 75 to 25. When hooked to make them spill, never let the girls try it. Source, create super exclusive VIP brand to attract the big boys. Reward with guaranteed access to the favorite girls. Make sure girls make notes on dirt immediately after session for my eyes only. Dead beats, boss will send up candidates, get one or two special girls to get them out to find out if they'd ever be missed. 
and be write guidelines for girls when we're sure invite them to room two with the painting and call Sue's all directions contact name Dio meet under the bridge on the 5th at 12th she'll take us beyond the wall pass with Daisy Bloom should I write this down Daisy Bloom Daisy Bloom no way did Rose and some other girls go over the wall aha uh -huh. We got it. This, this might... Okay. I'm gonna say my controller's doing its own thing. Can we thank her? Did you learn anything at all? Rose learned something she wasn't supposed to. Like what? Something dangerous? There were secret files hidden on a terminal. What now? Oh, she hide them? Because it was black male material and plenty of it. I did always tell her to look after her own bag. Good girl. So, do you think she's alive? I believe so. No, I think she's gone to my din. I din? Where? For how long? Is she in danger? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I'm not going to ask all about your personal business, but if you mean it, thank you. I ain't got no one else looking out for me. I can only imagine how hard it's been. It's not the not knowing. No, it's the not knowing. I just work. Keep myself alive in case. In case. No, Florence. You meet many people like me in your line of work. Doesn't it get to you? Yes, if it didn't, it would mean I'm in trouble. No, you're not so bad for a stripper kid. Thank you. No sweat. There, there. We got an achievement called Keeping the Hope Alive. Hmm. Welcome on. Are you alright? Yeah, let's talk case. Start with the general primer. What's the connection between you girls? They all work the bike together. That's a great find. How did you know? Why is that important? Rose used them for Carissa. So, do we know something about Rose that sheds a light on it all? She's been gathering sensitive intel on guests for Carissa. What kind of information was Rose able to collect? Plenty. On the ones that mattered. The fancy folk with VIP floor of privileges, you mean. Exactly. The lower class no names that Carissa knew no one would miss were killed off of flesh. Like your erstwhile friend Jeremy Green. Right. And their blackmail chief and science city workers. It's an ingenious setup, to be fair. And don't leave me in suspense. Did you find any intel? Yeah. Especially on a senior scientist named Eddie Young. Okay, so what's Eddie's deal? Both his and the minister's file mentioned Project Artifact. I think it's on its lead. What do you think it is? No idea. Eddie's a biochemist. That's all we know. Wait, is that the same guy from the Science City report we found um, in the minister files? Must be. Genes, proteins, biochemistry. Checks out. We have to look into this project artifact entails. Clearly, Callista is interested in it. Deal. Did you learn what happened to the girls? I think they escaped beyond the wall. The fuck? How? Why? There must be somewhere over the wall to escape too. Sure, a blasted wasteland. Being outside the wall is death by exile, not an escape. Someone called Dio smuggled them out. Then I'd like to ask this deal some questions. Same, but I got no leads on them at all. This is a lot to process. We need a new plan. And fast, we're catching up to the truth. Can't slow down. Damn, there's still so much we don't know. You did great though, especially to not get killed. 
Yeah, so skunk was like, I didn't kill him. All right, settle down, tough guy. Let's talk next steps. Finding Eddie Hung and learning about the project artifact. That we have enough evidence. We have knowledge that's very different to convincing proof. The science minister and his cronies are editing, are eating people. Right. Imagine convincing the press or the public of that. I witnessed it. Oh, would you know I love you? But you're no one. You'd only make yourself an instant target. Eh, the police report out missing people. It doesn't say a word about Clarissa. It's way too vague to warrant a public outcry. We can connect Clarissa's murder basement to the apes. And how are you going to prove that to the public or the police? We get enough people to report the bite, the police will have to investigate. It just sounds like a hoax. Anyway, we know the police are turning a blind eye to the bite right now. Damn, we got nothing. If we give up now, it's all been for nothing. We still have a lead. Fine, let's follow the lead. Good, I agree. What do you want to talk about? Missing girls. They could be on the wall? Life beyond the wall could be huge, Rene. I hope they're alive and happy. Anyway, it's not the priority right now. Science City. Something important to the science apes and Clarissa is going down there. And we need to see for ourselves. Get the young lady playing for both sides. That's my hunch too. Whoever he is, I doubt he's happy about it. What we know about Clarissa? She's in cahoots with the science minister, loves spying on everyone, knows about Project Artifact. Do you think she knows about us? Even if you are careful, be sure she'll suspect something is going on very soon. I'm done talking. Let's plan. You pay Eddie a visit at the science city and find the answers. Then we'll get the word out. The rest is up to the general public. Even if I find Eddie, how do I don't make him talk? Just employ your usual charm, if it doesn't work. Honestly, do whatever it takes. It will be our biggest chance to corner Clarissa. You make it sound so simple. Fundamentally, it is. You are a good detective. You'll figure it out. Or we could just live a normal life. Or oh, I would be late for that, don't you think? Let's uh, at least consider this once I'm back. Deal. But first, we eat. I'll go grab something at the bodega. Put your feet up until I'm back. You've earned it. For once. <laughs> sure. Be safe. Yep. It's coming up. I'm finishing the chapter. I'm busy now. I'll call you back tomorrow. Bye. Put your feet up. I'll be back soon. Nice day. Maybe everything will be fine. That's not Renee. Shit. <gasps> she wouldn't rat me out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Was Renee. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no. Uh, well, wait, well, aren't you going to offer me some tea? What kind of tea? Surprise me. Coming right up. Oh my god. Okay, Eva. <sighs> Simple red cup, don't be cheeky. She seems calm, better keep her that way. <laughs> It's important I stay composed. I know how to do this. Yep, worst thing that can happen. I die today. It's fine. I hope Renee's okay. Right. I I don't want to assume that Renee ratted us out. She she wouldn't. I I have to assume that she's on our side. But this could mean that they must have decked her on the way out unless they didn't see her. <sighs> Would never put it in the eight one. Good 
choice of tea. I'll give you that. I'd say you're welcome, but you're not. Now, how would later? This is going to be a very linear conversation. I ask questions, and you answer. And remember, I know when you're lying. Is that clear? Yes. Question number one. Do you know why I'm here? I don't know. I'll be disappointed if I have to do all the talking. Ask them. You're a newbie, private dick with a photography degree. Who hired you? Nobody. Of course. What's her name? I don't know who you're talking about. If you're not cooperating, then you're not useful to me. It's not an ideal situation to be in, really. Might be deadly, even. Oh my god, please don't kill me. I won't say anything. Howard, Howard. We'll move on for now, but only because I'll find out either way. I'm sure. Yes, let's talk about what you think you're sure about. What you found out, you tell me. How tiresome. You snooped around my bar. You coerced my shopkeeper. You spread rumours about me all over West End. Wasn't easy. Good boy. What else did you find? Give me the full picture of your sophisticated investigation. Where's Rose? All you need to know is that she's safe. You've been to the minister's apartment. What did you find? You were searching something big. As expected. Do you know what and why? Something to control the city by himself? Pedestrian thinking. Here's an offer. You work for me and find out the truth. I could figure it out on my own if I wanted. In that case, I must ask you not to. My plans do not account for a meddlesome raccoon boy, unless he works for me, of course. What do I get in return? You get to do what you're best at, for a good cause, and I'll keep you safe. Give it time and think. I don't need you to keep me safe. I still hope you'll see sense. Give it time and think. Anything else I can help you with? My final question. So much misguided effort spent pursuing only the shadow of the big picture. Why? I need to know that people get what they deserve. And I urge you to think carefully about my offer and about what you deserve. See you around, Mr. Lota. Send your mum my regards. Goodbye, Clarissa. I see you found your manners. Good. Suze, say goodbye to Mr. Lota. Take it away, Suze. I don't give a fuck. Ah! Why do I always get beat up like this? Shit, Renee's not coming back. I've got to continue. Oh, I can't stop now. Oh my god, do you think they got to Renee? Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. That's very bad. Hello, and Natalie, and it's quick way these here. Hey, it's Howard. Oh no, sad voice. What happened, partner? You want me to get you a cocoa? I need your help. Anything for you, friend. Tell me, spill the beans. Fill my cup with garbanzo. Let's go. I'm here. Yeah, and you pick me up tomorrow. Oh yeah, what's the plan? Maybe I did. I'll tell you tomorrow. I'd offer to join you for a drink, but kids, same place at nine. You sure you're okay? Yeah, and uh, one more thing. Yeah, buddy, get your head pills. Can you get me a gun? Oh, I'll see what I can do. Tell me what's up. Sorry, can't talk to you tomorrow. Sure thing, buddy, yo. I understand. Now go rest them bones, okay? Thank you.